Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I do apologize that I've been gone so long. Uh, life happened, things just come, come up. So I'm sorry about that, but what's new? I always take some type of break. <laughs> but I have a video today, and today is going to be our pregnancy update. It is Shun's full first trimester of everything she's been through, the good, the bad, the ugly, all that stuff. So if you want to know the update of Baby Bam and how Shun is handling her pregnancy so far, then just continue to watch and let's get on with the video. So I have it broken down here in months so you'll be able to follow along with me better instead of just saying this week or this time. So I have it in the first month, second month, third month because you get into your second trimester around 13 to 14 weeks depending on who you are and what you believe. We wanted to go with 13 weeks was um, when she ended her first trimester. I know some people wait till 14 weeks, so whatever. But now we are currently 14 weeks, and I say we because this is my child. Shun is pregnant, but she don't have YouTube, so she ain't gonna get on, on here and update y'all. So we are 14 weeks pregnant now, so no matter who you are, this is second trimester. So now I think it's a nice time to go ahead and update you on what happened the whole first trimester. Only the first, the thing that happened around three to four weeks the first month was her peeing. She peed constantly. She got up at night 15, 20, not probably not, but she got up a lot, like eight times a night. Um, that was the only thing that I remember saying she said it changed and that was like a symptom she was having from pregnancy was the frequent urination. But really that's so the only thing that month, in the first week four, go like from like the second month four through eight. At the beginning of the second month of her pregnancy, Shun started having food aversions. Shun is normally a salty snack person. I mean by, by like chips, beef sticks, popcorn, really a pork chop because Shun is a meat person. And so those are her normal snacks and the normal things she likes. Um, but around week four of her pregnancy, Shun started to do food aversions. And I couldn't get her to eat chips or, you know, her normal meaty snacks and stuff like that. And she went completely on a junk food binge. Like, y'all don't understand how major that is because Shun, you could not pay Shun to eat a slice of cake. You could not pay Shun to go get um a snickers or anything like that it's just not her thing but the fourth week going into the fifth week i started seeing her food aversions and her sweet tooth picked up a whole lot during her her, her second month but her mood swings you guys <sighs> nothing prepared me for shun's mood swings shun became so evil and i can't even i can't say she was evil i'm saying she became evil because she still is evil uh, so her mood swings were like at a five at week four or five you know what i'm saying like within that general second month um so she would just like you know just be angry and just like one minute was like oh babe oh babe and i'm like what the fuck is wrong with you so that was a symptom that picked up and is still carrying on to this day. And I'm just waiting for it to be over. The second month, Shun had became really, really gassy. And if that's TMI, I'm sorry. But if you're on this channel, you should already know I do TMI all day, every day. So Shun was really, really gassy in her second month. Um, not just farting, like I mean like belching. And it would, it would just, I remember it irritating me because I'm like, you're not drinking, you're not even eating, we're walking in the grocery store and you're just belching, not like a little baby, uh, not like a little baby burp, but like full on, and I'm like, oh my God, that's so gross, like why are you burping so much? And I remember like her mouth would be watery all the time and she would just be burping. And at the time I didn't even know that that was a pregnancy symptom again until I visited my best friend, Dr. Google. And Google told me that that was a symptom of pregnancy and that she, she was just so gassy. Um, another thing that I forgot to mention in her first month, fatigue, she, and she still kind of has it now. So that started in her first month when we first, first, first suspected she was pregnant was because of her frequent peeing and her fatigue. She was just tired. And Shun, if you guys know Shun in person, if you don't know Shun in person, Shun is a very active person. She loves to be on the go. She can't sit still. Kind of borderline of ADHD and crackhead. <laughs> you know, kind of like jittery people like that. So 
the fatigue was really, really bad in her first month and carrying going into her second month. And she still has it now, but it's getting better. So that was something I forgot to mention. Also in our second month, we heard and saw Bam's heartbeat and we saw Bam for the very first time at eight weeks. So that is included in the second month. And it was the sweetest thing in the fucking world ever. We saw Bam and Bam's heartbeat was really strong and really great. And I just wanted to include that in there because a lot of people wonder when you get your first ultrasound and we had ours at eight weeks and everything was perfectly fine. Moving on to the third month of the first trimester, Shun was from eight, from weeks eight to 12. Um, what, something that I remember that Shun had a lot was headaches. But when we went to the doctor, they said it was completely normal, that she was gonna get headaches. It wasn't anything that we were doing. So mom was back to burning her candles, okay? <laughs> so headaches was a major thing. Um, they're starting to die down now. I'm not gonna say they're completely gone because she will say she has a headache every now and then, but that was really a thing in her third, I mean her, um, yeah, her third month at the beginning where she just was very, very moody because of the headache. Now, I hate to touch back on Sun's mood swings, but that's when they became worse. And that's when they are the worst. They are the worst because they're, they're horrible now. And Sun's mood swings continue. Like that is a constant symptom. When people ask me like on the phone, I'm just talking to them right now. And they're like, how is your wife? How is Sun? And I'm like, she's awful. She's awful. I thought pregnant women were happy. Just, oh my God, I'm so blessed. Just happy, go lucky, pregnant people. And I, like I said, I can't speak for myself when I was pregnant with Giselle because I don't remember a lot of those things. And that's something that I heard a lot from pregnant women. They get pregnant so many times and they have so many babies because they don't remember what it's like to be pregnant the first time. And that is me. Um, but Shunt is awful, you guys. And I say that now because at first her mood swings were just be like, I'm hot. I'm cold. Why is it so hot in here? Why is it so fucking cold in here? Like that, like kind of just like, you might just be bipolar kind of mood swings. But now it's like her moods are crazy with all three of us in here. And all three of us are myself, our daughter Giselle, and our dog Callie. And one day it'll be me. And it's just like, I feel like she's just picking on me all day. And it's just like, why are you dark skinned? Why do you wear glasses? Take your glasses off. Why did you take your glasses off? And I'm just like, I'm crying. I'm always crying. I go sit in my car. I call my cousin. I'm just like, why am I being picked on? Why is my wife so evil? Why is she such a bitch? But it is really like a mood swing and then she'll jump on our daughter and she's just like, why are you reading like that? Why aren't you behaving in school? I'm like, and I had to tell her, yo, chill, like your mood. And then, then it goes to the dog. Why is that dog furry? Why is that dog on four legs? And I'm like, I can't even tell you to chill at this point. When you question the fact that the dog is on four legs, this is a you problem, it's not a me problem. So, Sean is awful. The throwing up, the all that stuff that you think of when you think of pregnant people, it's not Sean. Sean doesn't have that. Sean has yet to have nausea and throwing up. She has not thrown up or anything like that yet. She had a spell a couple of days in a row of evening nausea where she really couldn't eat like that, but not like bleh, throwing up sick. She's just awful. And the last symptom so far that we've noticed with Sean in her first trimester is constipation. Um, I don't know if a lot of people really talk about constipation because it's gross, you know, who, who cares about your pooping and stuff like that, but that is a real thing. And I wish more people would say they have constipation or diarrhea or any of that because you really have to just, you, you feel like something is wrong with you. You really don't, because you don't see it on the internet, like, oh my God, I'm pregnant and I'm constipated. Is this right? Is this wrong? So I'm telling you guys now that it's totally normal to be constipated when you're normal and that is something that Shun, um has been dealing with with her first trimester. And the way that we have relieved that is I, I had to include more greens into her diet because I fixed all of her meals and we went meatless for a little while. I took you know so much fiber and protein out of her diet and I just been incorporating more green vegetables and green leafy things to help her move her bowels <laughs> and also her prenatal pills um have too much fiber for her so her doctor prescribed her a new prenatal pill with a um, stool softener in it so it can help her drop those kids off at the pool if you know what i'm saying so that is 
the last symptom that we noticed for shunts first trimester and now we're in the second trimester so those are all the symptoms that we noticed so far with shunts first trimester and it is done the first trimester is a thing of the past right now and i'm so excited because it seems like we're now getting into the fun parts of pregnancy so we chose to go ahead and do the genetic testing and they test for like Down syndrome and chromosome abnorm abnormalities and all that jazz and also baby's gender. So while we pray and we pray and we pray that everything comes back healthy with Bam, we're so excited to get the gender here in a few days. It's before we um, have planned to know the gender obviously at 14 weeks. And I think it's so amazing that we will know Bam's gender before even 20 weeks. Like, well, no bam gender at 14 weeks. That is amazing to me. So, obviously, when we find that out, I'll let you guys know. But until then, that is it for my update for first trimester. I plan to just do three of these videos. This is the first one of the series because I realized that Shun, as of now, isn't like in a very eventful pregnant person. So, it's not that much to update you guys on. So, I would do a video like this every trimester until baby bam is born so if you guys want to see those make sure you hit the subscribe button down below so you don't miss an upload and comment and like and do that stuff <laughs> so that is all for this video i love you guys so very much and i'll talk to you in the very next one bye Mwah.